The museum opened on May 24, 1884, in two rooms in the German Exposition Building on Kilburn Avenue. This was the birth of the Milwaukee Public Museum. It was a modest beginning to 125 years of history and exploration. The Milwaukee Public Museum became known for its innovative exhibits done in the Milwaukee style due to the work of Carl Ackley. Within a few years, the collection had grown so large that a new building was constructed on Wisconsin Avenue to house the museum as well as the city library. In January of 1899, the collection moved to the new building, which had 28,000 more square feet than the exposition building. The museum suffered hard struggles during the Great Depression. Samuel Barrett, the fifth director, made use of the Works Progress Administration and other New Deal programs to keep the museum running and to create employment beyond the basic staff. Director Stephen Borhage oversaw the construction of the building on Wells Street that currently houses the museum. Museum curators and artists quickly began to switch focus and started creating interesting exhibits and dioramas for the new building. Soon after the move to the new museum was complete, Borhage died in a tragic car accident. His death was seen not only as a great loss for the museum, but also for the Milwaukee community at large. The museum continued to press on with new exhibits and a larger staff to bring it into a new era of museum standards. The staff had grown from a humble two employees at its opening at the exposition building to 100 employees. In a few short years, the collection increased tenfold from 20,000 to 200,000. Additions like the IMAX Theater and the Butterfly Vivarium set this museum apart from others. The Milwaukee Public Museum has seen 125 years of triumphs and hardships and continues to expand and excel. Who knows what new areas will be explored for the next generation?